I think there is a, you know, a big concern about free content. Uh, you know, movies cost a lot to make and a lot to market. So I think um, determining how that distribution pattern works and w you know, what you pay when and how you get that content is something that, that you know, we're con is continuing to evolve. Uh, right now, that consolidation of um, electronic sell-through, pay-per-view, video on demand, um, that is really the, the, the discussion at hand right now. What is the right pricing structure? Uh, is it a subscription-based model? Is it a uh, rental-based model? Uh, and where that, how that plays out is really what's going to you know, affect us for, you know, in the near term. Music, I think, tells us a lot about where, where movies are going to go. So music, I think, has pretty much accepted the idea that music is now free that uh, the cost of producing an extra copy of a file is zero, and that's what people are likely to pay for it. And I think they don't like it, but I think they've accepted it. And I think they've taken the point of view that they're going to make money other ways. It's going to be about the concerts, it's going to be about the merchandise, promotions, tie-ins, television shows, uh, you name it. And, and I think in the movie industry, for example, I think we're going to see more of that. I think, I think with increasing bandwidth, storage is now essentially free. I think, I think content will be free. So I think where this is all going to go is to try to embrace that idea and say, we are going to find other ways to make money, uh, whether it's through the theater experience, through associated merchandise, through tours of stars, uh, you name it. There's going to be a lot of new ways to make money. One thing I think is important to bear in mind through all this is that the amount of value being created in, this, in these industries right now is phenomenal. Uh, it used to cost, it's not so much in, in movies now, but in music it used to be very expensive to make music, and it no longer is. It used to be expensive to copy music. It no longer is. People are enjoying more music and more variety than they've ever enjoyed. And when you think about the movie business, we've got all these big blockbusters, which has opened up all kinds of space for, for focus features, Lionsgate, you name it, to do things that are really interesting. And of course, better technology is making those things cheaper uh, for given quality. So I think there's a tremendous creation of value going on in this industry, but the tech technological issues are making it difficult to appropriate. So all the value is going to the customers right now, which is giving the companies a hard time, and ultimately the artists too. Uh, so, so I think uh, we're in for some interesting times and that, that industry is moving so fast, but, but I think the answer can never be that there's no music and no movies because people won't pay for it. That's not gonna be the answer. I think the film industry will definitely uh, come out victorious and, and, and figure out the, how to continue to provide content uh, through all the new revenue streams. I mean, one of the exciting things um, with all this new content, with all this new technology is um, films can be seen by more people in more ways. How we manage that process is, is, is yet to be determined, but more people in more areas can see films in different platforms in different ways, in films that they might not have ever been able to see because either it didn't get to their, 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 their theater or might not have been carried by their video store, uh, especially as it relates to some of the really small independent films, documentaries, foreign language films. So there is this opportunity now, I think, in the, in, in, in the future where these films can be seen by, by a much larger audience, and that's exciting. I think that there are still opportunities in the business. I think there are, you know, it's an, you know as much as there's concern about um, certain consolidation and concern about uh, the marketplace, I also see a lot of opportunity. Um, there are new revenue streams coming down. There are new technologies on making film and distributing film. So there is, a, as much as there are issues confronting us, I think there are a lot of opportunities for us um, moving forward. Students of business tend to think that they need to do a very kind of standard business, a kind of standard career path. And, you know, and as Andrew showed, and I think others will too, there are lots of other interesting things to do. 
So point, the, part of the point of having something like an entertainment class is to say, hey, let's think about this a little bit differently. This is, a, this is an industry. We can take our skills from marketing and finance and strategy and OB and whatnot and apply them in those, in those uh, industries.